take a quick little video of it for people to look at them and kind of get a gist of where it's at in the town. And then they could go out and it's like a scavenger hunt for Stefan gets to keep. This is the man with the hand, the guy behind the camera doing these area scavenger hunts, Zach Simon, a Poland grad that's gone into his passion these days, 3D printing. 3D printing kind of seemed very sci-fi and futuristic. Uh -huh. um, it reminded me a lot of uh, Star Trek and Star Wars. So that always kind of drew my mind to it. Um, the idea of creating something from almost nothing is very interesting. Interesting enough to start his own company. It's called Locally Printed with a 3D instead of an ED on the end. I didn't have the opportunity to go through school uh, for 3D printing because they didn't have the proper curriculum set up for it. Mm -hmm. So I lucked out with a internship and then that led to a 3D printing job and that's kind of how I lucked out. So now he has a business and this little side hobby where he hides some of the things he makes and people go and find them. My very first one was actually the um, clock tower. So um, the clock tower downtown um, was one of my first ones. I made little miniature versions of it and hit it around and uh, everyone found it and it was pretty cool. So that kind of gave me the inspiration and uh, fire to kind of keep going and doing more. If you've ever seen it on Instagram, you know Zach is insanely popular. And the YSU Penguin is his most famous item. Um, so Bob Barco Jr. originally painted the penguins for an art project and it became a staple of the community. So I decided to make little miniature versions for people's pockets and um, that really turned out to be a really good idea. People really latched onto it and uh, I'm happy with how it's turning out so far. He puts them on the fire hydrants at the school or the mini ones go just about anywhere. I'll take about five and I'll hide them around town. I'll take a quick little video of it for people to look at them and kind of get a gist of where it's at in the town. And then they could go out and it's like a scavenger hunt for Stefan gets to keep. Are you shocked that people come find them? At least at first, were you? I really am shocked. And we were too. So we thought, why not? Let's have Zach hide one here outside the Cavelli Center and see what happens. So there's the penguin, no one around, but sure enough, just 10 minutes later, we had a visitor. Gonna be a great year. So you finally got one. I did, we've been going around trying to find the little penguins and there's been times where I see somebody grabbing the penguin yeah. as I'm on my way. So I was really happy we got to find ours today. Why did you want one so bad? I always, you always see the little fire hydrants around campus and around Youngstown and they're just cute little collectibles. It's a breath of fresh air seeing a lot of people from the community come out and see uh, everyone looking and you know, the uh, excitement in people's faces when they find it. So keep an eye out for Zach, or better yet, follow him on Instagram and find out his next move. He's been doing a lot of keychains for local companies that are his clients. And of course, some seasonal items as well. I'll be doing it all year round. There's, <laughs> you know, there's no stopping. Um, if you want something fun to do during the winter, this will be available. And if you want to do it during the summer, it'll be available during then too.